The ratio of blue to red marbles in a bag is 6 to 9. If there are 125 marbles in the bag, how many red marbles are there? Give yourself a minute 30 seconds for this one. Really try it out. We really want to see you succeed here. So let's go ahead and tackle this. This is a problem where we have a ratio of blue to red is six to nine. And then we're given a total. So with that said, this is a ratio total problem. Remember what we want to do is just represent the part to the whole and multiply it by the total and we're good. So here's what I mean. We're looking for red marbles. All right. I used red on purpose. No, I didn't. But we, uh, we have red marbles that we're trying to find. We know that this six is blue and this is red. Again, it goes in order. So with that said, that means that for every six marbles that are blue, we have nine that are red. So think about it like this. Again, for every six that are blue, we have nine that are red. So if we add this together, that's 15. So for every 15 marbles, for every 15 marbles, nine are red. So we have nine out of every 15 being red. This is what we want because again, our answer, we're trying to get red marbles from the total. So if nine out of every 15 are red, well then what we'll do is find out what nine fifteenths of 125 is because that's gonna give us the number of red marbles because if nine out of every 15 are red, go ahead and just use that fraction to your advantage and you're set. So now all we have to do is just grab your calculators, nine divided by 15, all multiplied by 125, and we get 75. Making our answer here, A. And so we're all set. Again, remember, we always, always, always need to understand why it works before we pick up our calculators. Because if not, we will get stuck questioning the numbers and not questioning the process. And that's why a lot of people fail. So again, question the process, not the numbers. That way you can build confidence. With that said, Anderson here checking out. Stay tuned for next week's updates.